Namaste everyone and welcome you all to the AS classroom. In today's class, we are going to talk about the characteristics or features of business environment. Come, let's get started with the class. Well, the characteristics or features of B, that is business environment we are going to see now. The first point is totality of external forces. In the previous blog, that is in the previous video itself, I have explained about the specific forces and general forces uh, which are all the environment will surround the organization. So that is what it means. So business environment includes all the external forces so it is aggregative in nature so it will get aggregated so it will start as a smaller units and it will get aggregated as a whole so i have given the vocabulary also aggregative means formed as separate units so small units like this it will start and it will become whole so big so formed of separate units gathered into a mass or whole. That is the meaning of aggregative. So the external forces all will start like a small small units and it will get aggregated as a whole. Let's move on to the next characteristics. Specific and general forces. So this topic also we have discussed in the concept of business environment. So business environment includes how many forces I told? Both specific and general forces. Two forces. So number one is specific forces. Number two is general forces. You know already specific forces includes investors, customers, suppliers, competitors. And in the general forces, economic, social, political, legal and technological conditions and uh, 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 meanings also I have explained in the previous class itself. So economic, how the economic uh, uh, policies will change the business environment organization. So economic, you would have studied in the economics. So three ways they will bring fiscal policy, three policies, economic policies. Could be brought under fiscal, uh, monetary, supply side. So economic students would have learned in the economics. So economic policies could be brought under three ways. Fiscal policies, monetary policies, supply side policies. So under these policies, if the... Uh, Policies has been brought, it will affect the organization. Let's move on to the next feature, interrelatedness. So business environment has got interrelatedness. How all the forces and factors of business are interrelated. Each and everything has got interrelatedness. If the consumer changes, it will affect the business. So if the business changes, it will affect the consumer. Suppose if the business stops its production, when the consumer consuming the same product continuously, if the production process is stopped, who will get affected? Consumer. So each and every thing has got interrelation, interrelatedness. Here we can take an example also. Now people, you know the term, earlier it was like a consumer be aware. Nowadays entrepreneur, entrepreneurs be aware because consumers all became much aware than the entrepreneurs, right? So that's how the term has changed. Now people, example we can take, people have changed Their lifestyle. How they have changed their lifestyle? In uh, any ways we can take. In their food habits if you take. 
from inorganic to organic transformation took place so many people if you say um, all are taking organic foods only again they are going back to the same olden days culture like uh, every products uh, like uh, iodized uh, salt and uh, taking uh, millets uh, whole wheat like so many things uh, junk foods they have started uh, avoiding so lifestyle being changed slowly so like uh, people have changed their lifestyle to inorganic to organic food this could be one of the example for interrelatedness changes in the business environment let's move on to the next feature the next feature is dynamic nature what do you mean by dynamic changeable it will not be very static or fixed it will get changed so what uh, this characteristic means means business environment will not be fixed it will get changed it will be adaptable to the changing environment we have studied about many environments surrounded the organization so according to the need it will get changed so business environment is dynamic in nature it keeps on changing whether in terms of technological improvement if the technology improves also it will change moving on to the next characteristics uncertainty so business environment is not certain we cannot predict what is going to happen next in the business maybe we can plan for our business we can execute but we cannot predict what is going to happen for the business environment have we predicted about this covid 19 we were thinking something is happening uh, people in uh, china uh, struggling a lot because of this disease like that we were thinking and we were engaging in our day-to-day -day activities all of a sudden people have locked us right so we cannot predict what is going to happen in the future so this is called general phenomenon fact so business environment is uncertain and these changes are difficult to predict and the next feature is complexity complexity very complex business environment is not simple one already we have discussed about the specific forces and the general forces how many forces are surrounded the organization that is business environment how many people are uh, uh, instigating or uh, influencing the organization functions right so it is very complex to understand about the environment it is a collective whole when it comes it's a aggregative things we can understand as a part maybe we can predict so government may take steps like this so partially we can understand but when it comes to whole it will be very difficult and it will be very complex to understand so business environment is difficult to understand it can be understood easily in parts if it is a one part one environment alone only about the consumer means we can understand about the market situation how the market is going to change so based on the consumer needs we have to change our product alter like partly we can understand but the whole it is not possible but in totality it is difficult to understand that is what the meaning of complexity this is one of the feature let's move on to the next characteristics relativity relativity means across the frontiers country to country region to region business environment is not same it will vary it is different we cannot say everywhere the business environment is same so business environment is a relative concept since it differs from country to country and even region to region we can take an example here Number one, political condition. So if you take political condition, whether the USA, USA political condition and China political condition will be same. USA political condition entirely different and China political condition is 
entirely different. So country to country even political things are changing. So according to their political things business environment also will change. Let us take another example also demand for saris. So people those who are engaging in producing saris maybe in India the demand for sari would be high but if you take where it will be high maybe India. The same India if you take north side sari demand will be very less only comparatively Chudidar Zel, uh, Chudidar and western dresses they will wear. But south side it will be more and here also slightly changing but our tradition dresses sari right. So the demand for the sari in India will be high but if you take France very meager so very less only can you understand relativity so depending upon the country so country to country region to region the business environment relatively changes i hope you understood the uh, characteristics or features of the business environment almost we have come to the end of the session today i will meet you in the next class with a new topic till then you take care until it's by until then it's by from udaya